Hello everyone, it is not morning anymore. Got a little fake fire going. There is a thunderstorm. There's already a lake in the driveway right there. But three of us went out to breakfast. We drove a little into Wilmington, I guess it's called. And went to Blueberry's Grill. And then Headed back, grocery shop just for a few things, mostly filtered water, got some bagels, and just we, the last little things needed for like pasta salad and PBJs, just so we have options for lunches. So I got distracted. There's, it looks like somebody got hungry. Some little kid took some bites out of that. You hear that? It's cozy, so I'm gonna put this on. I turned the heat off. We just got the ambiance going. I'm gonna knit at the restaurant. We parked next to our Jeep, and Danny was getting ready to say, oh, we can duck them, and then he saw a Trump sticker. He's like, oh, they're a Trumper, never mind. I'm like, no, we spread kindness to everyone. They can have an America duck. <laughs> Wow, it's pouring again. We have flash flood warnings because this area had like the most rain when the hurricane went through. So yeah, we, we ducked the Trump Jeep. And then when we came out, we noticed they had two ducks on their handle. <laughs> and we had a duck on our roof, so, our hood. So yay, ducking. But, I'm gonna knit the crochet top. I did the smallest size, which was small, and it was like, you can wear it at 28 inches around or bigger, because it's a tie top. And I was like, oh, that's probably fine. And I checked my gauge and everything so it wouldn't come out too big. My gauge was just a smidge, so I might like gain an inch, but I was like, I can just tie it real tight. Apparently, my rib cage where that ties is 25 inches. I'm, I'm just very small boned. So I need to figure out fixing it. I think I'll definitely have to take the entire lace off the bottom. Let me show you. We'll, we'll walk to the closet and I'll show you. They're watching a Mission Impossible. But, I'm definitely going to have to take the whole lace off because it goes across the whole bottom and it overlaps multiple inches. And that was a lot of work, like an hour, but it's fine. I need it to fit. So like right now, this is how small I need it. I overlapped it by that much. So I need to redo it with one less scallop on each end and luckily I think it ends out here on these ends so I can unravel them and just make my own version of the back tie that's a lot smaller. So I don't think I have to undo everything but I will have to redo the lace and figure out the math for making it without two of the fans I think they're called. But I'm gonna curl up and we just have most of our bad weather at the beginning of this trip so I think our drive on the beach day is gonna be later in the trip and we're just gonna have to take opportunities to go out when we can. It is very wet. I can't really show you how much water is running down the street but all right. Love you guys.
actually like play, you can do it. to the end of our day and you know what we made it a good day despite it being a very stormy one during the rain after we got home from the store and breakfast I knitted which is lovely and I cooked some pasta salad that we'll have for the rest of the days we're here and then went back to knitting and as soon as I saw that sun come out I was like the sun's out messaging in the house and Sebastian and Danny and I went out to the beach Jax is enjoying just playing Geometry Dash and everybody relaxes in different ways but yeah we took a very long walk it was two hours but hopefully I'm not sunburned. We'll see later. It takes me a while to show that up. The clouds were mostly on us, but every now and then the sun would come out and it was like, instant sizzle. It's so humid here. But we walked home and cleaned up. And then, why is your watch not on the charger? And then we headed back out. We were like trying to beat the rain to get to the restaurant. We knew a big storm was coming through. It started to sprinkle pretty right, much right away, but it didn't really full out rain until we got to the building. So we did have to sit outside because there was a long way inside. But luckily it was covered. It was covered, yeah. There was too many flies. That was the one bummer. But I mean, we would have been waiting for a very long time. I did not see people leaving the inside. And then, can you please go finish? I'm talking because you're supposed to be in the bathroom doing your stuff. And then, yeah, but the food was good. They forgot my hush puppies that I ordered as an appetizer. So they ended up giving them to me for free, which is nice. It was the cheapest meal we've had and all four of us were there. There was an absolute downpour while we were there and this huge flash and boom of lightning. Like I felt it in my, Soul. The little girl at the table next to us just put her head down for a solid five minutes because she was so scared of that. It affected my misophonia and I like had tears like just loud songs, but that was the closest I've been to lightning, I think. But yeah, it stopped raining so we were able to walk back. It's just very soggy everywhere. Did you go poo-poo? No. No, you didn't need to. Why were you booty slamming? It's just one of those things. Itchy butthole. Just one of those things. All right, well, I'm gonna do Sebastian's bedtime. So I'm going to leave you. I'm gonna put my pajamas on, I think. Even though these pants feel like pajamas, I switched to these little harem pants. <sighs> yeah, I don't know what we're gonna get up to. I think we're walking to a good breakfast place. And it's just kind of play it by ear with this weather. Thursday's gonna be our best weather day and it's also our last full day so we will probably do our drive out to the beach day that day but good night everyone stay safe be kind and don't forget wash your hands